Welcome to the New St. John Fellowship Telecast, a place where we are becoming an end time people for the end time church. Our overseer is Pastor Clarence Stevens and First Lady Dr. Cynthia Stevens. We are located at 1615 North Toby Avenue, P.O. Box 1760, Gonzales, Louisiana 70707. Our telephone number is area code 225-644-644. 2949. Our email is nsjohn at newstjohn.com. Our website is www.newstjohn.com. Sunday morning worship service will be held at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night Bible study will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. If you need help, we're compelled to pray with you and for you. Our major concern is that the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are saved. Make sure you let nothing keep you from doing the will of God. We ask God to bless you for watching. Now, we have made a lot of mistakes. The church, the church has made errors all over the place. And that's another reason why Christ said, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell many of them. I never knew you. Never knew because we God is a perfect God, and, and so you have to present the perfection to Him. All right, everybody got Romans ten. Okay, Romans ten. Go right to verse seventeen. Verse seventeen. Everybody got it. So then, faith cometh. By hearing and hearing by the word of God. What do I want to get out of that? What do we want to perfect? The only way you can get faith, it comes by hearing. It does not come by you reading. So that's a lie. You're not pleasing God when you're reading. You can't change this. So faith that you live by got to come by hearing. No other way. That's why you got to be here. All right, all right. Faith cometh by hearing. So don't try to read. Now you need to read it so that you'll know that is in there. But don't try to receive any faith. You're being satanic when you try to receive faith by even reading. Wait now. Faith comes by hearing. There is no other way so your life if you're going to have a good life or if you're going to please God you got to hear something all right all right now wait now wait uh, uh, did I establish that faith only comes by these ears so that means somebody Got to say something. Not just anybody. Not just anybody. Okay, I, I'm, I'm setting the foundation now because the error is in here. In here. So when the preaching is going forward, if you don't hear the preacher, you're not getting no faith. You, you have lost that trip. Wait now, y'all didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I'm talking, okay, turn right over. Now, I didn't write this. This is not my plan. This is, not, this is God's plan. So either you're going to please God and have eternal life or disobey God and go to hell. Now, which one do you want? I'm going to please God. All right. That's why I want you to have eternal life. That's why I'm taking the time. I don't have to do this. 
I don't have to do this. But I understand how God operates. He's a perfect God. And you can't present just anything to him. You got to present his word just as it is back to him. Or you will spend eternity in hell. Now it's your choice. Well, turn back to verse 14. I didn't write it, folks. So don't hold me. Don't get, uh, I'm just a messenger. Don't get angry with the messenger. That's a mistake. Don't get angry with me. We, we got a tendency to get angry with the preacher. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. Okay, you, you got verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? So you can't get no faith just from any preacher. Wait now, now, now y'all can try any trick. You can go anywhere, try, listen to any preacher. But if the preacher is not sent, you are wasting. All right. Now, wait now, y'all hear me? Do you? Those that uh, follow me, I want, you to, I want you to be with me. When, when we get to the promised land, I want you there. All right. All right. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Love you too much. Love you too much. All right. So just any preacher can give you faith. Got to be sent. Meaning God's spirit got to be with him. Because why is that so important? Why the spirit is so important? Because what you're looking at is physical. The preacher has to lift it from the page and make it spiritual so that it'll get in your heart. If it's not spiritual, if the spirit doesn't carry it, it won't get in your heart. So all those things, you can't change. I didn't write it, folks. You can't change that. You can't change it. So you got to make a decision. Either you want God or you don't. So if you want God, you got to go by his rules. If you don't want to go by his rules, you're wasting your time. All right. I'm not wasting my time. Hallelujah. Somebody in here ought to say, take me home. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you come in here, you come in here with one objective. I got to get some faith. And faith takes you into Christ. That's all it does. That's all it does. Take you into Christ. And once it's get in, it get it inside of Christ. Grace is added. And that takes you to God. Your faith become righteous. Then God takes over. And he ple he takes it. Oh, he takes your case then. And once God takes your case, you can count it done. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. No, it's done when God gets your case. 
Matter of fact, once God, you ought to give him thanks. Hallelujah. He, he may not do it immediately, but he got your case. God doesn't forget anything. God doesn't forget about you. Whatever promise he made to you. Won't he bring it to pass? Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if some of you thought that you could get it by reading, it won't happen. It's just for you to know that it's in the Bible. And when the preacher says it, you can bear witness with it. Hallelujah. And if the spirit is not there, you can forget it again. All right. And I told you the purpose of the spirit. No spirit, no word. No word. No word. Can't get in your spirit. Can't get no faith. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Did I get through? Okay, now, we have been living errors. Amen. And I see that, errors. Amen. Now, I, I pick up your spirits. Amen. You may think I don't pick up, but I'm picking up your spirit. And I, I know how you think. I know how, and I feel the errors in here. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, 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 God give that pastor something different. And he can pick up your spirits know what you're thinking and you don't have to say a word hallelujah all right, uh, all right. hallelujah hallelujah all right okay all right did, did, did i did i get through with that now i'm trying to help you I'm trying to help you because if you don't obey this word you, you're not going to see no eternal life. If you don't obey this word, you're not going to see it. Now, God's not going to tolerate you. God's not going to play with you. All right. All right. He's made me to be patient with you. Hallelujah. All right. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I I I I I, I made some other statements, you don't have to read it, it's, it's in there. But I, uh, when I said that God is not looking for a clean heart, that, that, that's Matthew 12 chapter. Starting with, I think, verse 44. You're not, a clean heart is ready for the devil. Read, read that, read that 44. Read that 44. That's the, when the devil come and see a clean heart that has been swept and garnished, he goes in. You a candidate for the devil. When your heart is clean. Wait, now, y'all don't hear me now. You better keep something in that heart. All right. Uh, all right. The devil goes around looking for a clean heart that has been swept and garnished and clean. But you need to keep a word. I'm trying to get you so you can keep a word in your heart. All right. Now I'm putting it out there. And you let the devil come and take it out. 
Because the devil knows when you got a clean heart, you're a candidate for him. You got to have something in your heart. Ah, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's Matthew 12 chapter. Uh, I don't know. You got to have a word in your heart. Uh, 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 we're not going to read. I got something else. Don't, we're not going to read that today, but that unless y'all compel, y'all want to want to read it? All right, let's read it. Okay. All right, let's read it. Matthew 12 chapter. Matthew 12 chapter. Uh, hallelujah. 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 All right, when you got Matthew 12 chapter, would you say amen? Okay. All right. All right. Start with, start with verse 43. When the un... Everybody got it? When verse 43, Matthew 12. Okay. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he comes, he find it swept. Now, watch what's going to happen to that person with a clean heart. Now, now, the, devil, now the devil sees your heart. He knows whether you got anything in there or not. All right. All right, okay. Seeking and findeth none. Verse 44. Then he says, I will return unto my house from what? Whence I came out. And when he is come, he finds it empty, swept, and garnished. Clean heart. You think you've done something. Talk about your heart is clean. That's a terrible mistake. You're a candidate for the devil. Talking about a clean heart. All right, anybody getting something now? A clean heart. You better, you better, you better, better have a word in your heart. All right. If you don't have a word in your heart, let's see what will happen. Let's, verse 45. Then go is he. And take it with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it also unto this wicked generation. It be also also. Let me reread that. Let me reread that at verse 45. Mm -hmm. Then goes he in and taketh with him how many? Seven other spirits more wicked than him. Now only because you had a clean heart. So a clean heart, you in trouble. So don't, don't try to please nobody. Talk about your heart clean. You, you need to stop talking about that. And no clean heart. All right. All right. All right. Wicked, he taketh in spirit and more wicked uh, than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. Only because you have a clean heart. And the last state 
Oh, that man is worse than he was. Then, then that. Uh, let me read that. Worse than than the first. Worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. All right. Did everybody catch that? Only because you have a clean heart. But if you got a word in there. All right. You got something to fight with. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. I said, I, I said that, uh, I think one, one Sunday in here, and, and I didn't really explain it, but it, uh, when I say something, it's biblical. I'm, I'm not going to tell you nothing to take you off course. No. So now you see a clean heart is not a benefit. It's not, it, it, it's not a benefit. But you talk, walk around here talking about you got a clean heart. Candidate, thank you. Candidate for the devil. All right, all right. Clean heart. Got to have, and, and that's why you can't get a word in there until you hear. Now, now, wait, now, now, let me repeat myself. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. Now, I'm obligated to do what thus. Say, and, I'm, and I'm gonna do what thus says the law. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Now it's up to you to accept it or reject it. I'm gonna do what thus says the law. My salvation to me and my family is too important. And to those that want to hear me, I'm not gonna play with that. I'm not gonna play with that. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You can count on that. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Oh, praise the Lord. All right. All right. Yeah. I know my Redeemer lives. Oh, yes, he does. Hallelujah. Oh. Uh, I want to get you ready. Take you to the promised land. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Did did I? It through so your objective now if you stay home you're not gonna get no word yeah you can't get nothing at home it's for you to for you to get a word in your spirit that's a perp that, that that should be beneficial to you beneficial to you beneficial to you all right Okay. Oh, all right. Did, did I did I get through? Did I put that in your spirit? Did I put that in your spirit? Did I put that in your spirit? You faith cometh by, and that's that. The faith is when you believe what Christ has said, and that's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what Christ said. That's the wine. That's the wine. That's the wine. Okay, that's the wine. And if you obey that, then you're going to get the oil. Once you obey what I put in there, then the oil is going to come automatically. Y'all don't, don't get that. The oil comes automatically once you obey what I put in there. If you don't obey what I put in there, you're not going to get in there all. No. Okay. 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 Let me, let me, uh, um, all right, all right. Now, uh, 
uh, uh, certainly God wants this house, and, and we read it, he wants it to be knowledgeable. He wants you to know what you're doing. Don't come in here guessing and know what you're doing. You've got to have faith. Faith is a stepping stone to righteousness. Hallelujah. Uh, all right. Okay. I said, I said something yesterday, then we're going to move on. I said something yesterday, and uh, I was talking about love, and that First uh, uh, Corinthians thirteen. I can assure you that you don't know, do not know. How to love. I can assure you that. But that has to happen. It has to happen. It has to happen. Okay. First Corinthians 13. Now I'm. I hope you know what I'm doing now. I'm imparting knowledge. Knowledge knowledge do you think you ought to have some knowledge all right all right okay all right verse you got first corinthians 13 all right starting with the very first verse everybody got it this is how god operates 13 verse 1 though i speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity I become as sounding brass or as a tinkling cymbals now I'm reading this because it ought to be going into somebody's spirit somebody's spirit all right okay and verse 2, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all, not some, all mystery and all, you can have all the knowledge you want. I mean, you understand this word vividly. Oh, you're reading. Now you I want you to see it and I'm putting it in your heart. You can have not some knowledge. Now once again, I didn't write it, folks. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. And all you can have all knowledge. And though I have all faith. Now you can have it all. I mean.